love story that I want to share is my love for community. It is when I found community that I really started to feel comfortable and really felt loved. In identifying as non-binary, I've always thought that it has to be androgynous. You have to be somewhere in the middle, but I can be whatever I want to be. And that's all that matters is that I accept myself and I have people in community and chosen family that support and love me for how I present. And that's all that matters. I had a very hard time coming into myself and learning more about how I identify because I was in a lot of spaces where I didn't see people that looked like me. And in a lot of this queer community, it's very white and it's very not inclusive. I don't see a lot of people. So having spaces where I am seeing Black queer folks highlighted and uplifted, it's very empowering and it definitely helped me through my whole journey in discovering myself and not feeling like a weirdo. I just want to belong and I think a lot of people want that too. In the queer community, chosen family is really important because a lot of people, especially Black folks that do come out, they end up losing a lot of their own biological family. It's almost like, where do we go? Who do we turn to? Who do we talk to and share our experiences? So having chosen family based in queer community is such a beautiful and uplifting thing because these people understand what you've been through and they can relate in a way that only people who've lived in your experience can. And having that to keep you going is just the most beautiful thing and it's very much part of the queer experience.